The recent increase in gun violence comes as many continue their calls to defund the police. Emily Fannin tells us whether Madison leaders believe redirecting resources away from the police is a good idea right now. Madison's first black female city council president is taking a stand with other community leaders, all calling for an end to the recent gun violence. Put the guns down, stop the pain, stop the hurt, stop the retaliation. This week sparked outrage from the community after 11-year-old Anissa was shot on the east side of Madison. Enough is enough. We're tired of all of this stuff going on with all the shootings. This latest incident comes as shootings across the city continues to be an increasing trend. So far this year, Madison police have responded to 143 incidents of gun violence. 29 shots fired in June, the highest monthly total MPD says since they began tracking this data. As calls to defund, redirect resources away from police continue, some believe it's not something that can be accomplished right away. I don't know if defunding the police or restructuring the police or redesigning their efforts is something that we can achieve in one year. Carter believes police do a good job, but doesn't think transforming how to fund Madison's police department can happen all at once. Public safety has got to be our number one goal. For now, this Madison leader says the attention needs to stay on finding ways to reduce gun violence, asking for permanent solutions instead of temporarily funding programs. We need help. So it's either city, county, either y'all don't help us or move the hell out the way. Because this is the time that this stuff has to change. With the city projecting a $30 million budget shortfall due to COVID-19, Council President Carter says she believes in keeping community policing programs to help, to help build better relationships. She called it an important element that should not be eliminated.